we're going to be working on our PFI field trial for our cooperators program, uh, investigating uh, what happens when we reduce our usual nitrogen rate by 50 pounds of nitrogen per acre. And part of the reason we are looking at doing this is because we're wondering if soil health practices like cover crops will enable us uh, to do uh, things like reduce nitrogen. So today we're going to put on our regular uh, shot of side dress nitrogen, which uh, is 70 pounds in this case. We've already put on pre-plant 70 pounds of fertilizer, so that'll be a total of 140 pounds. And in our reduced end strips, we'll be knocking that down by 50 pounds. So we're going to have 90 pounds total applied nitrogen in our other strips. So I'm anxious to see how that's going to pan out as the season progresses and when harvest comes along. So in this particular instance, we didn't have to do anything different with planting with our herbicide. The only thing we're doing different here uh, is uh, knocking down our nitrogen rate. So the beauty of variable rate nitrogen application is that we can just poke a button here on our um, monitor, which is GPS enabled, and it logs where we are and um, how much nitrogen we've been putting on. So I have it laid out uh, not only on a spreadsheet, but on my windshield here. So I know physically when I'm in the field what I need to be doing, but it will log it on the monitor and it will give us a nice map of what is where that we can overlay our yield data in the fall. The uh, highest input cost every year is always fertilizer and especially nitrogen. This year especially, it is sky high. Even with $7 corn, the maximum return to nitrogen rate max is 140 total applied units of N. So even in years when prices are low or when uh, nitrogen is cheap, we're still looking, of course, to cut input costs. And fertilizer, of course, is a major input expense that we have. So not only from a bottom line standpoint, but also when we're thinking about environmentally, uh, we want to make sure we're only putting on enough nitrogen that the corn crop can use and that we're going to get a return to our investment dollar on. So it, it, we don't want to be putting any extra on that may be lost to volatilization or through ground leaching. Uh, we want to make sure that we're really responsible about how much we're putting on and very cognizant of our return on our investment. What I really like about doing these PFI trials, especially with the cooperators program, is A, we get guidance from experts on how to set it up, uh, on any questions we may have on protocol, on you can pick up the phone and call not only PFI, but other uh, people who are participating in this particular field trial and say, hey, what are you seeing uh, you know, on this day, uh, in this particular instance? Um, it's, it's really great to have that support. Uh, we know that the, the, the information we submit, the numbers we submit, will be treated in a scientific manner and will be compared to other field trials that were complete, completed also with that same scientific rigor and that the results in the end will be part of a larger picture of the nitrogen application rates in the state of Iowa.